Hey guys, welcome back. Hope everyone's doing well. Let's look at Iraq's economic news. I think there's there's a key thing in this that can reveal some stuff to us. When you look at, at Iraq's economic news since last year, the news really thinned out towards the end of the year and then even getting into the beginning of this year, there isn't any economic news. That's very telling, guys. What they're telling you in that is that with, the, with Iraq's economy, it's frozen right now. Because everything that they mentioned to us in the 2020 budget, they said they said it has all the reforms for the demonstrators. They said that the reforms is because of the, or I'm sorry, they said that the, um, the deficit within the budget is due to the reforms. They said that the final payment to Kuwait, okay, which is approximately close to four to five billion dollars, they said that that payment, that final payment to Kuwait's inside the budget. They said it has Article 148 CL reconstruction funds, the whole nine. Everything that I just shared with you guys is post rate change, okay? That's why right now what I'm trying to share with you is we are not seeing any economic news articles because the economy is frozen. It's on a standstill, okay? Until the rate changes, they cannot move or launch the economy. It's completely frozen at a standstill at this time. That's why you're not seeing any economic news. That's what I wanted to share with you, okay? So I've got to, so anyway, so I just wanted to show you that, that right now the rate does have to change and in order for Iraq to launch and promote their economy, attract investment, all that, they've got to change the rate, otherwise they're at a complete standstill. All right, I've got a really good article I want to share with you guys. Here it is. News coming out of Iraq right now is political news, okay? The consensus among most investors within this investment think or feel that, that the core thing that has to happen right now is we are waiting for them to finish the formation of the government before they can change the rate because they feel it's a a very important layer of stability in this, okay? And the the when you look at the news and do process of elimination, that kind of confirms that theory or a consensus among investors is that the only thing we're seeing in the news right now is news about Iraq's politics and formation of their government. So here's a very good article I wanted to share with you. Source for the Euphrates, the Kurds and Sunnis authorized al Qazami to choose his booth and abandon their candidates. This article is from today, April 27th. An informed source revealed that the Kurdish blocs and Sunni forces decided to authorize the Prime Minister designate Mustafa al Qazami to choose his cabinet regarding its merits, components, and forming the government. The Kurds and Sunnis decided to authorize al Qazami to choose his booth and give up their candidates. The source said, The Prime Minister designate Qazami announced his announced this evening, Monday, his rejection of any pressure that undermines the state. al Kazemi said in a tweet on Twitter, the responsibility that I faced in this difficult circumstance and amid economic health and security challenges is a national responsibility. He added that the government, which I am trying to set up, should be the level of crisis, crises and their solutions, and everyone put the interests of Iraq in the priority, he said. I accept the pressure only when the state supports the path and reject any pressure aimed at undermining the state. Okay, so right now, he only has until May 8th to finish forming his government or they could dissolve it, okay? If they do have to dissolve the government and reform it from scratch, this Iraq could be waiting until September to completely relaunch and open their their country up internationally. So, now, that would actually probably be the best route for Iraq because many, many people feel that there's still some Iranian influence, some corruption with the gun in the government. So if they were to dissolve it and re- rebuild it from scratch, then that would be the best direction to go. But it would also be a lengthy process. OK, that could run and go all the way clear until the month of um, September. All right. So but as of right now, per this article. This article is telling us that there are no differences among the blocks, that the blocks are in agreement and would like for Kazemi to form his government. So we need to see what direction this goes to see if he's going to form the government by May 8th or to see if they're going to, you know, if this if he can't if he can't do it in the constitutional time period by May 8th and then they have to dissolve it and and take longer. So we'll have to see what direction this goes. You guys have a wonderful evening. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.